this video is more like of an admission of crime. I think when I was buying crypto some couple of years ago, I forgot the basic principles of investing. To be honest and fair, I had zero confidence or I would say I had zero um, faith in how the crypto is going to pan out because I understood the technology. I understood what they were trying to do. But even at that time, before even buy, buy, uh, buying a single coin, I was not really convinced because there was no use case at the moment. It was not generating any revenue. And I'm not really the fan of just buying the technology for the sake of it. Now, having said that, at that time, I still remember, and it, I'm talking about when there was crypto bloom of 2021, everyone's talking about Bitcoin being a store of value and the rest of the altcoins like Cardano, Avalanche, and a lot of other as the future investments, layer two blockchains, Lightning Network. And then um, one thing I could say with all humbleness that I never fell prey to the NFT craziness because I, when I saw those drooping faces of monkeys, I knew that it was a fad. Anyway, but still, um, I'm still eating the humble pie as um, the thing which I bought, which is Cardano, is really under the water. And I don't see any hope in hell for it to recover anytime soon, if ever, because there is no use case. Um, look, whenever you are buying a company, whenever you're buying shares or anything like that, the first thing we look at um, is what exactly that company is doing and if it's a good company or uh, bad there are a lot of things when you are buying the shares of a company on the stock exchange there are some day traders too but even with day traders the companies share which they are buying their real companies doing something offering some services building some products selling those products in the market but with this crypto stuff there was no use case at that time there is no use case as i am speaking right now no matter what people tell you there is no use case you won't see crypto in the mainstream um on the opposite more and more banks more and more governments are banning it for example as i did another video um last week where commonwealth bank which is the largest bank in australia has put severe limitations on transferring the money to crypto exchanges anyway the coin i have is cardano and if you look at the cardano's price it is just 38 cent australian which is terrible anyway and it has been like that for some time um, five day average is just rubbish as you can see here and if i just pan it to one year so you can see that it has reached 37. So it is at its lowest right now in a one year time. If I put the five years, same thing. It is almost at its bottom in five years. But don't think that this is the bottom. You never know with crypto. This is what I have learned. If I do the max, you can see that around in 2021, it reached around four Australian dollars. So, and then from there, it is all downward stuff going down, down, down. And as we are now in uh, 2023, mid of 2023, so um, you can see that it has dropped to just 38 cent per coin. Thank goodness I didn't uh, sell my house and put everything in crypto at that time um, because that was the mania, that was the craze, that was the bubble at that time. The bubble has burst. Uh, you never know what is in the future. I'm not saying that crypto won't ever recover or resurrect or there won't be any use case. But as we speak right now, I don't see any use case. Uh, even with the people who say that Bitcoin is store of value, I don't believe them. The reason is that anyone can go ahead and build another Bitcoin like uh, blockchain or crypto and then you can store your value there. It is not a replacement of gold. Gold is a precious metal. It has a real scarcity. Plus gold, uh, ask any um, woman and she'll tell you how important the gold is for her. So gold has a value, gold has a use case, whereas Bitcoin doesn't. So I don't think so that uh, this all store of value thing is really valid. 
plus when they say that decentralized finance i also don't believe in that i don't think the governments will ever let the control of money go no matter what otherwise you know if they that is the main thing the world is revolving around if they let it go then there won't be any government so other than that if we see any other use case then that might be the case but as i said uh pretty gloomy situation for crypto especially cardano um and various other altcoins people still think that bitcoin will go up and reach to 10 million dollar per coin i'm not sure i don't think so but let's see you never know so yeah um one piece of advice if someone is telling you that this 38 australian cent is the bottom of cardano don't believe them you never know it might just go to zero thank you